Hey folks, Davey here. I'm uh, going to do a short video about the brand new 2.0 version of the Racket Harmonica microphone. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of a sound test comparisons and talk about how it differs from the version 1 Racket Harmonica microphone. So, um, yep, let's get into it. Okay, so let's uh, look at the key points uh, about the 2.0 versus the 1.0 original uh, Racket microphone. So now I've been playing this one since it first came out about four, four and a half years ago. Um, I've played this at every gig I've done in that time and uh, it's absolutely mind-blowing. Uh, I love it. So I was really chuffed when Greg sent me this one to try out um, to see what I thought with and I've done about... I'm going to say half a dozen gigs or so with this now, so I've kind of got a, a, an idea of, of how it all sounds. Um, so um, let's uh, let's look at these. The, the key point, I suppose, is the shape of it. This this one, uh, the version two, now has the um, the Bulletini mic um, front and centre, whereas the version one racket mic was down on the uh, on the side. Now uh, that's affected the weight distribution a little bit. Um, I mean, not noticeably, but it's, it's, it's adjusted the weight distribution. Obviously, this is more central. The actual weight of the units um, are pretty much the same. Um, I'm guessing most of the weight actually is in the, is in the Bulletini mic and then, then the harmonica itself. Okay, so uh, I use a K&M brace. Um, brace. So this uh, fits in like this. Okay, you know. Um, and uh, an interesting point for me um, is that I use my uh, a very sort of peripheral vision line of sight here towards my guitar um, with my guitar hand here and um, with this one obviously I've got a much clearer line of sight than I have with the mic on the side there okay so uh, and this this can be flipped over by the way the other side so uh, that's one bonus the flip side to that is if you're wearing a nice tie with this one you can't see your nice tie not that I've worn a tie for yonks so that doesn't bother me but you know it might be part of your gig um now uh you can adjust the sound on this one by removing the two end caps like you can on the bulletini one okay now the bulletini one comes with these end caps you can play it without a uh, uh, an end cap on or you can play it with a half end cap or you can play it with uh, a solid end cap okay and that affects the tone of the mic now with the uh, uh racket two you can remove this one side or reduce this this side and you'll hear what that will sound like very shortly now uh, the number two um, uh, loads in from the side I load mine in from the left hand side apparently you can flip that over to load it in from the right hand side just like you can with the racket uh, one um, and uh, but it goes in dead easily um, the microphone itself can also be swiveled around so you can have that set uh, like this or drop it into 90 degrees or 90 degrees up that way so um i have it on this side it's just what uh, seemed to be better I tried all three versions of that and uh, having it on this side for me was the better better option to have the cable coming down here um the feel of it is different um i mean i don't know much about um 3d printing or anything like that but uh, you, obviously the technology has moved on significantly in the last um, you know five years or so so uh, this uh, obviously feels a, a lot nicer it's a, a lot more professional looking um, and yes I assume that's to do with the 3D technology um, I think that's uh, about all the oddments um, that I can tell you so let's get into some sound tests what I'm going to do I'm going to play each of these mics um, into a Blues Deluxe uh, which uh, is set um, just to kind of how I like um, the the amp set, and uh, it's got a bit of bit of grunt, uh, a bit of growl. So um, yeah, we'll hear what it sounds like through that, and then I'm also going to play it straight into this um, PA speaker. Um, no desk, no effects, just absolutely flat straight into it. So um, right, let's get into that. Okay, so uh, this is the um, Racket version two, straight into um, Fender Blues Deluxe. Um, I'll play everything on a Suzuki Manji in the key of A. So uh, here we go. This is what it sounds like. <laughs> Amazing, eh? So I'll um, now uh, start taking the end caps out 
and you can hear the uh, the sound without these end caps. Okay. <laughs> Quite a significant difference without those end caps. I uh, personally like it with both end caps on, so um, there we go. All right, let's play the uh, version uh, one racket um, with the same setup. <laughs> go so uh, that's with the half cap in and that this is uh, without the cap in at all and here's the full end cap in pretty amazing again hey all right let's go to, to the uh, PA speaker and we'll just go absolutely straight okay here's racket 2.0 <laughs> something a bit more first position folky kind of idea. Hey, so uh, without the end caps on again. All personal taste, but to say no effects on that straight in. Okay, let's uh, try the version one doing the same test. <laughs> So there we have it, version two of the Racket Harmonica microphone compared to version number one. Thanks for watching. Uh, please check out my music. I've got a new album called David Thorpe Harmonica, uh, My Harp and My Rules. I've also got my one man band, Little Chuck, the one man skiffle machine uh, albums available. Uh, if you want to know any more um, about these, have a chat with Greg Human at blowsmeaway.com um, and feel free to drop me a line anytime as well at backyardmusic.co.nz and uh, I can do online lessons, all sorts of stuff like that. And so, uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe and all those other things that you're supposed to do.